Hello students, we are going to learn about models of teaching. You all are familiar with the term models, but models as teaching learning aids, models made up of thermocouple, models made up of wood, but models of teaching is a totally different concept. Let us see the background first. Now, teaching learning process, it has existence right from existence of human because usually in the house, mother used to teach something to her kids. The carpenter used to teach his son, the pot maker used to teach his son. This was all informal learning. But then in the 17th, 18th century, formal teaching, formal schooling started. And then after some years, the research on effectiveness about teaching started. The teacher should make positive changes in the process. And this is exactly is the purpose of models of teaching. Now, models of teaching has two words, model and teaching. Now, instead of popular limited definition, we can see the broader concept of teaching. Burton has given four different functions of teaching. Let us see what are they. According to Burton, stimulating for learning that is teaching. So, making the students motivated about learning, maybe telling some interesting things by showing different things, etc. Now, you are familiar with different methods of teaching, lecture method, discussion, field trip, etc. Now, which is the best method? Can you tell me? Probably you will select discussion method, but if the students are very small, then how can they discuss? It is very difficult. It is proved from the research that no single method can suit best for all the type of content and all the objectives. With this thought, models of teaching were developed. Now, if the models are not just teaching learning aids, what are they? Let us see the definition. Models of teaching are patterns or plans based on scientific principles about teacher student interactions in classroom or in other situations. In classroom, teacher student can have face to face interactions, but Bruce Joyce and Marsha Well also are saying that models of teaching are applicable in other situations like in online learning, when you are writing a book, etc. So, now you know that Bruce Joyce and Marsha Well they have developed the concept of models of teaching. Now, how did Bruce Joyce and Well Marsha come up with this idea of models of teaching? They studied several researches based on effectiveness of methods of teaching. But what was the conclusion? No single method is effective for all the type of content for all the type of students, for all the different purposes or objectives. So, that is the base of models of teaching. Models of teaching are based on specific content, for specific objectives, for specific type of students. So, let us see the concept. Bruce Joyce prepared systematic plan to apply thoughts and research by experts in various fields in day to day teaching and such plans are models of teaching. That means, now you know that models of teaching are based on research or the theoretical background given by experts in various fields. Now, what are the various fields? As you can see in the slides, there are several sources of models of teaching. What are they? Let us see. There were curriculum development experts such as Hilda Taba. So, she gave idea of 
inductive thinking. So such model was based on her thoughts and research. There were counselors like Carl Rogers. There were several teachers who were using different methods. There were psychologists such as Brunner or Skinner. There were sociologists. So in this way, models of teaching have sources from different fields. Now when there are different fields, naturally there may be different purposes of using these models. Now when there are different sources, in the same way different purposes are served through the models. So according to the purposes served, there are four different families of models of teaching. One is information processing family, second is social interaction family, then personal development family and fourth is behavioral change family. So what purposes are served? Because teacher when he selects any model, he should be very sure about the objectives fulfilled through these different families. So let's see one by one. Now information processing family. In these models, main purpose is to develop cognitive abilities through practice of collecting, organizing, interpreting and applying information. So the students are given chance to use their higher mental abilities. They are given examples, they are asked to uh, categorize the information, etc., etc. Now, the examples of these models are inquiry training, inductive thinking, concept attainment, and advanced organizer models. Now, the second family is social interactions. As the teacher is interested in developing the cognitive ability of the student, in the same way, the student should learn about social interactions. He should interact with others. He should be successfully interact and adjust himself in the society. And that is the specific purpose of social interaction models. Now what are they? Main purpose of these models is to develop self-concept, personality, develop social skills. The emphasis is on feelings, adjustment ability of the persons. And of course, creativity. The examples are role play model, games, simulations, where the students are made to go into different roles and experience, empathize, sympathize, or express different views from different perspectives. So that is the main purpose of social interaction models. In the same way, there are personal models. What do they achieve? There are specific personal qualities of students. Say for example, creativity, imagination. Then for developing such talents, we use personal models. Main purpose of these models is to develop self-concept and personality. Emphasis is on feelings, adjacent ability, etc. And the example is synaptics. Synaptics is specially used to develop imagination and creativity of the students. The fourth family is behavioral model. Here we are emphasizing the change in the behavior. Say for example, the students are very restless. They are not sitting at one place. They are not able to concentrate on what the teacher is interacting. Or they are under stress. Then you need to teach the students stress management. So such kind of activities are conducted in behavior model. So main emphasis in behavioral model is on behavioral change Behavioral change is through control on stimulus and reinforcement. One example is 
stress management model. So we have seen the background and different families of models of teaching. But in what way they are different from methods of teaching? There lies the peculiar characteristic of models of teaching. So every model has theoretical background because as we have seen they are based on theory and research by some experts and that's why every model gives theoretical background. Then they have objectives, specific objectives, they have specific syntax, they have social system in which the model will be successful. Then there are certain principles of reaction and not only that, it also will give specifications about the support system, what kind of teaching aids the teacher has to use. Let us see quickly what are these characteristics once again. Theoretical background, so every model has the name of the expert, then besides that there are important assumptions, thoughts and principles given by that expert or researcher. Sometimes there is some experimental base also. So when we learn model, we know specifically what kind of research is done on this particular model. Then there are objectives or effects. So there are two types of effects, instructional and nurturant effect. That what are instructional objectives and what are nurturant objectives? I will give you a simple example. We plant mango tree. What are the purposes? The main purpose is to get mangoes, delicious mangoes. We can say that is instructional objectives. What do we directly achieve from the model? But in case of mango tree, besides getting delicious mangoes, we also get shadow, there is greenery, we get cool breeze. So all these are side effects, positive side effects maybe. So such effects or such consequences, they are called nurturant effects. Then there are syntax or steps in any model. So what are the specific moves from the teacher's side, from the student's side? What are the steps that the teacher should use when he is actually implementing the model? That is called syntax or steps. Then models also suggest social system. So how should be the classroom environment? In what classroom environment the model will become successful? What is the specific teacher's role? When the teacher is supposed to reinforce the students, when the teacher is supposed to ask the questions and at what time he is not supposed to do anything. So that specifically is given. Then there is specific student's role also. When the students are supposed to ask questions, when the students are supposed to categorize the examples or react, etc., etc. So there is social system specifically given. Then there are principles of reaction. These are instructions regarding reactions by the teacher. Say for example, in inquiry training model, the teacher is not supposed to give answer immediately. Even if the students are asking irrelevant questions, he is not supposed to give negative reinforcement immediately. He will explain about it, but in the later stage. So, the specific principles of reaction are also mentioned. So, the teacher perfectly knows what he has to do while using the model and what he does not have to do while using the model. And in the end, support system. Now, you must be aware that no method of teaching gives you the specific requirement about support material, what kind of teaching aids, what kind of learning aids are required in specific method. But here in every model, it is specifically mentioned 
and that's why they are very easy to apply for a common classroom teacher. I'm sure now you know what is the concept of models of teaching, what are the different families and what are the specific aspects of models of teaching and how models of teaching are different from methods of teaching.